I guess it's time for an update this morning. Uh, we are cruising along the Pamlico River, uh, left Washington, North Carolina, this morning about 9 a.m. Uh, we, it was cold. It was uh, in the 30s uh, this morning when we got up. And, uh, but it's a nice sunny day. And look what we have. We have this brand new, you can't barely see it, but we have an enclosure all the way around us now. That side right over there is open right now because we're we're sailing. Explain it's the cheap stuff, but it's yeah. the first attempt. Kim wants me to say it's, it's it's the cheap stuff, but honestly, it's very very nice, and uh, it's so much more comfortable here in the cockpit than it would be if we were uh, uh, without it. So um, I'm excited about it. Anyway, uh, we're cruising along at between six. Uh, we've been as slow as 5.8 or something, but and more wind than they said we were going to have, which is, I think, always the case. But anyway, um, we spent nine nights in Washington because we were waiting for uh, the hurricane to, to go past us. Um, so that was nice to, to get in a nice, safe place. Um, ended up paying for five nights and got four nights free. Uh, that was awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's been a very nice experience. Met some good... We met some new friends there and uh, that we'll hopefully see down the road. But anyway, um, we are uh, just cruising up the, the river today back to the ICW. We got about 20 miles or so to get back to the ICW and then we can uh, turn south and uh, head towards the coast, uh, Moorhead City area. First Oriental, then Moorhead City. Uh, today I think we're going to go about 30 miles, um, but I'll tell you what, it's fast we're going right now. I'm considering going further but we'll see um anyway uh life is good here on shift um it's a it's a nice day and uh just a little bit on the chilly side but uh um and i i don't have probably as much wind noise as i would have um because of that enclosure as well so anyway um hope your day is going well we'll be talking to you soon well i thought i'd do another update tonight um, this is our first day, the end of the first day, after we left Washington, North Carolina. Having a pretty nice sunset there. Uh, we're in an anchorage at what's called Eastham Creek, and we're all by ourselves. A little bit surprised by that. Uh, really nice anchorage, and uh, thought there'd be more traffic on the ICW now that the uh, Hurricane Nicole went on by. And uh, But anyway, yeah, we're... Uh, so right here, it's a really pretty place. We actually anchored about 100 yards that direction back in uh, June um, when, our, when our travels north. But anyway, uh, there's a house just right back over in that direction, but you can't see it from here. And the rest of this is just all natural creek. It's just beautiful back in here. Looks like there's a couple of structures that may be uh, duck pines or something. But, uh, yeah, it's really, really pretty. A really nice place. So, anyway, um, just thought I'd give you a look around. I made about 30 miles a day. Sailed all the way down the Pamlico River. Um, and it just could wind the whole way. It's kind of gusty at times, you know, up and down. But um, it, was a, it was a good sail. Um, and it was just awful nice to run all day without the motor. Um, made about uh, made a total exit of 30 miles so we had to motor the last five miles to come into this this inlet it's right back over the the rivers over that way and then we had come down this way and then come down this this channel going back out and going south from here tomorrow towards oriental um, and uh, don't have a big day planned for more about 28 miles I think so should be an easy one I'm gonna hopefully stop and get some fuel up here at RE Mayo and then uh, it's a seafood place and they sell fuel and then from there we'll be uh headed towards the coast and uh get to uh moorhead city beaufort area so anyway i well, hope you're having a good evening we're having a good one uh it is kind of chilly but uh, uh looks like it's gonna be pretty decent tomorrow so anyway talk to you soon i guess i'll do another update here um we are out in Heading towards Oriental from uh, our anchorage at Eastham Creek last night, and we're kind of in between the Pamlico Sound, and we're going to be turning 
um, to starboard here in a little bit that's uh, going to be going up the Noose River. Uh, we've got a pretty short day today, only about 30 miles. We stopped and got fuel, um, took on 24 gallons of fuel, which is about half of our tank, um, at R.E. Mayo Seafood Company. We also bought a couple of pounds of uh, jumbo shrimp, which looked really nice. Um, that was less than 20 bucks, so that was kind of cool. But anyway, so uh, we'll have a nice few meals from that. But uh, this, uh, we're kind of hard on the wind right now. Um, about 60 degrees, a little bit more. 13 knots of wind. All we have up is our head sail because we're not going to be sailing for long today. Um, and I guess I'm just too lazy to put the main up. But anyway, um, got some weather coming in tonight, some rain. And so we, need, we want to get into our anchorage uh, and get settled in for the night. And then tomorrow, we're making the run down to Moorhead City. Uh, we may go way beyond that. We're going to try. Uh, the, uh, the weather is kind of chasing us south, so I think it's time to, to, to keep moving. So we um, spent all those days in Washington, and now it's time to pay the piper. So uh, that's the way it works. So anyway, that's our, our situation here. Um, Kim's at the helm right now. There's Kim. And she's just uh, driving the boat. And I'm just kind of lazing around being trimming trails. Trimming trails. Trimming sails, yeah. All right. Trimming trails, trimming sails. Trimming sails, same thing. All right. I'm not using your We'll talk to you soon. Well, I'll do another quick update here. We are at an anchorage that we used last year also. So that's two anchorages in a row that we've used uh, the same one. You know, when you know it and it works, I guess you go with it. Anyway, the SCW is just right over there. And uh, you can see a couple markers there. And uh, this goes back in here. It's a really cool looking uh, boat next to us. A pretty catch there. And uh, right now we've got pretty calm water. You can see the skies though. We're expecting rain all night tonight. Cold front coming in. It's going to cool things down quite a bit. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, I think we're in a good, good spot. Uh, we've had some wind today. Nice wind that brought us down the... The Noose River to get here. The inlet is back over right off our stern there, about four miles over there. And then Oriental is just beyond that. So, anyway, our game plan for tomorrow is to get up early and make some miles uh, south. Uh, we don't know how many miles. The funny part is that our destination is a place called Miles Hammock. Um, it's a uh, an anchorage that we again used last year. Uh, it's a very, very heavily used anchorage. This right at Camp Lejeune, the marine base uh, there, just south of here. Uh, it's going to be a long run, but uh, there really aren't a lot of good options. And so I do have one bailout spot, though, about 35 miles out. And we're going to try to make 50 miles tomorrow. So we'll see if that works. But anyway, that's the game plan. It took an, t another nice day today. Another, you know, 30-mile day. We sailed. 80 to 90 percent of it i'll take that so it's all good anyway that's it and uh hopefully we'll see you tomorrow talk to you tomorrow from uh miles hammock would be great so thanks talk to you later well i thought i'd do an update from here um we are in miles hammock it's a pretty well-known anchorage on the icw it is down well, we made about 40 miles today from, I'm sorry, 50 miles today from where we were. Uh, about We're about 40 miles south, this is actually southeast, but or southwest from uh, um, Moorhead City. There's a helicopter right there flying. That's a marine helicopter. Uh, this land right over here is actually Camp Lejeune, which is a big marine base. And uh, you're not actually allowed to go ashore here. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty cool place. It's uh, very well protected. Uh, even though you can look through this gap right back over our stern right there. That gap is uh, right out to the ocean. You can't 
get a boat through there because it's all silted in. But uh, yeah, that's how close the ocean is, the Atlantic Ocean. But anyway, it's a really cool place, and we have a very calm night, so that's really good. I mean, it's calm for now anyway. It may get uh, rougher later. It was supposed to get some wind later on in the day. But uh, it's all good right now. Really pretty. So um, we've made some miles south. Um, we're uh, about a quarter of the way to Miami now. Um, something like that. Maybe a little bit more, actually. But uh, we obviously took some detours, which added about 100 miles, more than 100 miles, uh, to our trip. But uh, still, it's, uh, it's good. Uh, we've had a good, tri good trip so far. And uh, it feels good to be here. We've run three straight days. May take tomorrow off. May just sit right here for a day. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I know most of these other boats are they're going to be moving out. It's going to get cold the next few days, though. That's something to be kind of aware of. We're kind of concerned about that. But uh, anyway, um, it's, a, it's a pretty day. And uh, we'll leave you with that sunset right there. Just starting to set now. Have a good one.